Hey there, second grade. We're so excited to be working with Hopscotch again today. Hi, four. Never mind. So last time we were drawing hexagons. You guys remember that, right? And each of the rotations in the hexagon was 60 degrees. I remember because I took a note of the program, see? And there are how many sides to a hexagon? That's right, six. Now today, we're gonna be drawing again with hopscotch, and you might choose to draw something other than a hexagon. If you draw something other than a hexagon, how do you know how much to rotate at each corner? Well, we're gonna help you figure that out right now. Now remember that with the hexagon, there were six sides, and 60 degrees of rotation at each side. If I take 6 and multiply it by 60, it equals 360. Now, 360 is a number you will see in geometry for a long, long time. It's very, very important because that's what it takes to get from the start back to the start. So when we're drawing a polygon in programming, we want those rotations to add up to 360. So let's talk about figuring out how many degrees you need to rotate. If you have a four-sided polygon, what's a four-sided polygon called? Anybody know? If it has equal sides and equal angle measures, it equals a square. And each of those four sides is going to be 90 degrees. And if I take 90 and I multiply it by 4, that's right, I'm going to get 360. Now, today when you're working, if you want to figure out how many degrees you need to rotate, you're going to use Siri. And you can ask Siri to divide 360 by the number of sides you want in your polygon. That's all. Here, we'll show you how it works. So if I wanted to make a eight-sided polygon, I need to know how many degrees to rotate. I know it's not going to be 30. So I'm going to ask Siri. So I'm going to hold down this home button and wait for Siri to show up. Siri. What's 360 divided by 8? The answer is 45. Thank you. So now I can go down here and I can put 45 and I click start and we can see my 8 sided polygon. Oh that's an octagon. It looks like a stop sign. So if you get stuck and want to figure something out, you could ask Siri, hey Siri, do my math. So let's get busy drawing some patterns and you mix up the shapes. Put in a couple different programming blocks. Use that repeat block. Use that line color block. We learned lots of stuff last time. Let's practice some of it. Feeling up for a challenge? Maybe you can figure out how to make a tessellation. Because I don't know how. I think it can be done, but it's going to take a little work. If you want to try it, go for it. See what you can do.